Hello, my name is Papa KB. Today is my debut video shows on social media to show you guys how to cook at home like a real chef. This week I have a nice Halloween menu, a little bit scary. It's Halloween, right? The menu has to be scary. So for my soup today, I will have a creamy Jack O'Lantern pumpkin soup. And for my main course, I will have a bullish goulash of a sleep with noodles. For my sides, I will have a roasted graveyard potatoes, a steamed black bread cauliflower, sauteed skeleton green beans, and to close it up, I will have some nice roasted bloody beans. Uh, but uh, before we go any further, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up, please. Thank you. And uh, for your setup, don't forget also to use the right cutting board, the green cutting board for your vegetables and your fruit. And your uh, bucket, your sanitizing bucket in the red one, your sanitizer, and the green one for your soap. So you could clean and keep your area clean. Without any delay, after you uh, seed off the pumpkin, cut it off and uh, seed it off. Uh, clean it inside, neat and nice, to start the soup. Uh, we will start with the pumpkin because it will take kind of long to clean uh, because that's the harder thing. So uh, you will uh, seed it off, clean it and cut it in big chunks. Season it with salt and pepper, a little bit olive oil if you want to. Uh, put it in the oven so you could make it soft and peel it off. While the pumpkin is cooking in the oven, uh, we will go ahead and start dicing the potatoes in quarter dice, by quarter inch, uh, that we use for the soup. And I forgot to mention earlier, if you want to avoid accident and some kind of cuts, you could uh, use uh, some cut glove, they call it wizard glove too, uh, under your regular latex gloves or your vinyl gloves. There you go. Dice after you dice the onion in quarter inch dice for the soup. And uh, I did uh, went ahead and dice the onions that I will use for the soup and the goulash at the same time so you don't waste any time. Then we go to the next one. This will be for the soup too. And we will add uh, to the pumpkin. That will make it a little bit sweet. Uh, after you, of course, after you clean your potatoes, wash it. This is already washed and clean. Uh, peel it and uh, dice it in a big chunks. You won't need to dice it in quarters because it will take too much time and since you have to puree the potatoes uh, because it's a creamy soup, you don't need to make the dice into really nice. Then transfer whatever peels that you have into your bucket. Remember you have to have a bucket around so you don't have to go back and forth to the trash can. Alright. Go ahead and cut the potatoes dice them in about one inch dice and reserve them on the side. Alright, the next step you could go ahead and uh, finish uh, uh, cleaning your, doing your vegetables, uh, peeling your carrots and dice it in one inch cube for your goulash. I will put some uh, vegetables in, not much because it's goulash. Uh, you could add some carrot and uh, green peppers in it. Alright, one inch dice, that will be for your goulash. Then after you're done with that, you reserve it and go to the next one for the vegetables and the sides. Oh, but don't forget guys, uh, between cutting vegetables, don't forget to clean and sanitize your cutting board and your knife and let it get dry for at least a minute. All right, thank you. And uh, you just go ahead and start cutting your potatoes. Of course, after you clean them, it's been clean and dry. Cut them in an inch and a half dices. And after you're done with that, if you want to cook it with meat and nice, uh, you will have to uh, steam them a little bit 
Don't let them cook in the steamer. Uh, steam them a little bit. So it will go neat and nice and uh, the dough will be really soft after you roast it. That's the secret, you have to steam it a little bit. But before you do that, make sure that you soak the potatoes in water so they don't turn dark. Hey guys, let's check the pumpkin to see if they're ready. Here we go. Don't forget guys right there. Oh yeah, they're ready. Nice and right. So you could get the skin off. If you want, you could do it upside down. I prefer to do it this way. You could do it upside down to make sure that there is no peel on it. You could flip it over. And clean it neat and nice. Reserve it on the side and dice it later for the soup. Alright guys, let's start the soup. Long weighted soup. So save the onions until they sizzle. Don't make them dark or don't burn them. Sauteed onions, some fresh garlic, not too much, flap them. Add your potatoes in it. A lot of people don't put sweet potatoes, I do. Uh, so uh, it will complement a little bit the honey so you don't have to put a lot of honey because the honey has like a strong taste to make it sweet. Then you add your pumpkin. Alright guys, after you uh, don't add in your uh, stock in it, don't forget the salt and pepper. Don't put a lot of it, you could uh, season it later on. Uh, you have to season more later than to try to solve the problem when it's too salty. Then uh, you have your nutmeg, your honey on the side. When it's almost cooked and pureed, you could add your honey, your nutmeg and your heavy cream later on. So now let's uh, leave it on the stove to simmer. All right guys, the next step after you clean your beef, obviously I didn't clean this one. After you clean your beef, uh, just dice it in big chunks, not too big, an inch and a half or two inches. Then after you're done, this will be for the goulash, but still don't forget, the red cutting board for the red meat, beef, pork, or any red meat. All right, transfer it to a pan, a little bit salt and pepper already mixed, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit olive oil if you want to. If not, you could use regular vegetable oil. Mix it really nice since it's beef goulash. I usually add some hot paprika to my mix instead of this two. It will be more than that. Nice lean beef. Some people don't put it in the oven, they just do it on the, the stove right there. We could do that too as well. But it's kind of more exciting since the pan is already hot. Alright, let's do that. I'm browning the meat right now for the goulash a little less of beef base to make it taste really nice for about an hour and a half to two hours finish adding your broth and add a little bit more salt pepper garlic olive oil and a little bit paprika to give it some color yes and a little bit seasoned salt to give it more color and some kick for the seasoning and my secret, the vegetable base. To give it a nice little shock. Then mix it right here. Nice. To coat all the potatoes. And spray your pan. Or put some butter on it. If you don't want all that, the olive oil will be enough. Alright, don't forget to scrape the pan. Next step, stick it in the oven at 350. Chop up the parsley, a little bit fine. You don't need to go that fast if you can't handle knife that fast. You just 
hold it right here at the tip and go back and forth to get it chopped up really nice. But in the process, do not forget always to clean your cutting board, sanitize it before you use it on the next item. There you go. Uh, the next step will be doing the cauliflower. You could use a different knife or use the same knife that I had earlier, like the chef's knife. But this one is like a little bit easier to use to clean because it's not that big and some people have small hands to hold the big knives. Uh, you try to clean it in the middle to separate them in a such way that you have some floret that will look like a brain. That's why I call it bad brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the sample for a cauliflower for it that you will use that will look like a bad brand or any kind of brand that you want to call it. <laughs> That's Halloween, we have to be a little spooky and funny, right? All right. You keep on doing that and cleaning this cauliflower till you have a full pan. And after you're done, you could separate them by hand if you want to, if you don't want to use the knife. If you're in a rush, it could be faster like that. All right, for the green beans, it will be faster. You could separate them and put them all together and cut the tips. They have been clean already. This will be faster because the green beans was easier. Then you go next to the beets, hold your towel right here and peel it off while it's still a little bit hot. Yeah. And get some napkin. Clean the cutting board so you could do. Since none of them is, hasn't been cooked yet, I think I still could do that. Clean the cauliflower here a little bit. I mean the beets. And dice it. Then season it. With some salt, pepper, garlic, and olive oil. And roast it in the oven. That's about it. All right, guys, uh, we made it. We are at the end of the process. And uh, the last thing I will add to the beef goulash, the goulash goulash with slippery noodles, will be the sour cream. That's one of the signatures of the goulash beside the paprika. So this is gonna be going here. We'll give it that uh, creamy look and a nice texture. And uh, while this is simmering a little bit at the end of it, I will add a little bit heavy cream into the soup as well. There you go. It will give it that nice creamy look and make it taste really, really good. Here you go, I almost missed it. Get back to the goulash here. And this will be the finished product. Beside adding a little bit of the parsley to finish it off. And the rest of it, we'll save it for the garnish when it's served over the slippery noodles. And while I was waiting for this to finish cooking, I went ahead and sauteed the green beans with some salt, pepper, garlic, fresh garlic, and olive oil. Yeah, I like olive oil or vegetable oil. And while this was cooking too, I started uh, to steam, uh, to cook the noodles and steam the cauliflower as well. So we are ready to serve the plates.
All right, guys, we made it. We are at the end of it. Everything is ready, and we are about to plate. Uh, so I will start plating the vegetables and the starch, and the potatoes are ready, and the beets. There you go. Roasted graveyard potatoes. I will put the pan right here, then pull the beets out. The bloody beets. Don't they look bloody? <laughs> Here you go. Bloody beets. I will pan them in this plate and I will have the green beans as well. If you want, you guys could pan it this way or do it individually. But since this is going to be a self service, I will let people show themselves. It's gonna be really hot. They will do it right away. But if you're doing that for self-service, you need to use like a chafing uh, so to keep the food hot. All right, next will be the green beans. I did some sauteed green beans here with some salt, pepper, garlic, olive oil. Mmm, they look yummy, the skeleton green beans. Let me go like this. Ah, they look yummy. I did taste them too, they taste really good. <laughs> All right. You will have to try to color coordinate. Cauliflower. And the roasted bloody beets. Voila! Looking great. Roasted graveyard potatoes, the skeleton green beans, steamed bad brand cauliflower, and uh, roasted bloody beets. Alright, we'll finish off with the slipper noodles that we'll have on the pan here for the beef goulash goulash. go and a little bit drizzle of chopped parsley that I chopped earlier we get some of the soup